almost everyone in the industry, government and media seems to agree that the market is shifting right now. But it's difficult to pinpoint what that means exactly, and opinions vary from one person to the next. Considering prices were skyrocketing at all-time highs in the past few years, you would think that meant prices are now coming down. What else could shifting mean? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that prices are going down in your area or price range. It also doesn't seem to be translating into buyer's market everywhere, either. Data in news reports indicate that there are fewer houses selling, and it's taking longer for them to sell in some areas than it has been in the past few years. But in many areas, prices don't seem to be plummeting or even falling. In some areas, prices are stable or even increasing. The shift is affecting the market differently from one area to another and one price range to another, so you can't go by nationally based data and reports. You need to rely on local comps to determine the value of a house you are selling or buying. But here are a few problems with comps in the current market that you need to be aware of. There often aren't enough of them. Inventory has been low and continues to be low, so it can be tough to find three houses in each category for the proper analysis. Beyond that, it's tough to find enough that are similar enough to a subject property. You might need to look back further than three months. It's never ideal to look back beyond three months, but due to the low number of listings and sales, it's often necessary to do so. Unfortunately, a house that closed within the past three months is often just a sign of what the market was like as much as five or six months ago, because houses take a two to three months to close after being listed, even if they go under contract right away. So that data is more proof of what the market was like before or early in the shift. We won't see proof of values shifting for months. To truly know if prices are going down, it may take a few months of purchases to tell the true tale. So right now, sellers are often handing on to proof that their houses is worth a certain amount based upon sales prices that occurred when prices were at all-time highs. On the other hand, buyers often feel like prices should be coming down based upon news of the market shifting and the fact that the interest rates going up have affected their buying power but they don't necessarily have proof to justify lower offers. In the meantime, while the data catches up with the shift, your best bet is to rely on your agent's experience and observations in the current market. What have they been seeing happen in your local area and price range? They may not be hard data to pull up yet, but the local agent is a good barometer for what buyers have been offering, how much sellers have been accepting, and how supply and demand has affected those two things in your area. While comps are useful in determining values and how much to offer or accept for a house, when the market is shifting, you need to rely on your agent's ability to gauge where the market is currently going before the proof actually appears in the form of comps. I hope this information was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, comments or concerns, please don't hesitate to call me. My number is 917-349-2621. I also upload all my videos with a lot of helpful information to my YouTube channel. The link is in bio. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.